guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you do like it and you can continue to follow me. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a video on the top or best, in my opinion, drugstore foundations and concealers. This is just what works for me. Um, my skin type is kind of like combinations. Sometimes it gets oily, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it gets dry, and sometimes it doesn't. But honestly, it's pretty normal, so it's like a really normal, like, skin. Good to go off of, and I'll tell you what makes me oily, what dries me out, um, anything. But yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna start off with the concealers. Um, the first one that I'm gonna be starting off with is the LA Pro Concealer. And um, there you go, if you can see that. This is in the color Natural. This one is actually a little too light for me. So, I mean, not too light, um, a little too dark for me. So, um, if it'll focus, it's upside down. Um, so yeah, if you have my skin tone, I recommend getting like the lightest shade, but they didn't have it where I was buying it. I actually found this in the mall and it was like $3, I wanna say but I believe that they carry this at CVS's. If you have one near you, I don't. I just have Walgreens and unfortunately they don't carry it there so I would have to buy it online but it is still in some drugstores, just not where I live. So yeah, that is, this is a really good find. Um, even though it wasn't my color, it was still like really good coverage. I always kind of go off of like this mole that I have right here. That was way too much. But a little goes a long way. So you see what I'm doing, I'm just, patting it down and for a concealer it does its job so the next one I'm going to be talking about is the hard candy glamouflage this one is in ivory and this stuff is like really really potent like really really strong like like I literally just use like the least bit that I can how am I supposed to show you you guys can see that right there. That's like the tiniest bit. But what I usually use this um, concealer for is just mixing in with my foundations to lighten it up. It really gives it more coverage and um, just gives it a better color if you need that. How the, why did I do that right here? Okay. So as you can see, I'm like, <laughs> as you can see, it's super, super light and Seriously, the littlest bit, like I will use a tiny, tiny, like ballpoint pen in the size drop and it'll make a difference. On to the next one. This is one of my all time favorites. I used this today and I use it um, almost every day. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me. It's kind of, it's probably kind of, yeah, it's kind of worn down. Um, and this is in the shade 15 and that is Fair. This is comparable to the, let's see, Naked, I think they want to say, no, 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 the Tarte, one of them, I don't know, it might be, I'm not really sure, <laughs> I've heard it's comparable to whatever that one is, but it, honestly, it has really good coverage, let's see, so, Really good coverage, really smooth, really easy to blend out. It doesn't like oxidize really quickly, so really blendable. Now the last one I don't have, but I'll try and enter a little picture in here somewhere. Um, is the Age Rewind by, fuck. Um, I think it's Maybelline too. I think it is. The Age Rewind Stick, and it's, you guys know what I'm talking about if you have any idea about any makeup. It's the um, little one that you twist to have the product go into the little sponge at the top, and then it's like a little round sponge, and you just put it on your head, or on your face. <laughs> that one is another all-time fave. I would say that those are my top two between this one and that one, but other than that, these are all really great, um, but I'm just going to swatch them to each other so you guys can see what they look like beside each other. Okay, so these are all swatched next to each other. The one right here is the Maybelline Fit Me. This one right here is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Um, and then this one is the Glamouflage by Hard Candy. I would definitely recommend them 10 out of 10. 
Um, none of these seem to make me oily whatsoever because I, when I do get oily, it's usually like where I put concealer, but honestly, none of these make me oily whatsoever. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to the uh, foundations. And I'm gonna start off with, and a side note that all of these, I believe besides one are underneath $10, I wanna say. That's a good point because drugstore foundations and like products are getting way out of hand. Like, I mean, they are getting better, but they are just so overpriced. Like they're like $18 now. It's just like, um... I can go buy like a $50 foundation that's gonna last me longer and I'll probably have to buy like two or three because I use more foundation. When it's drugstore, I use like more pumps than I do on like a high-end foundation. So, sorry, I'm talking with my hands a lot. But anyways, to the point. This is the Sonia Kashuk and um, I really, really, really like this foundation. The only downfall is there's not that many shades. But this one is in the shade. I'll show you, this is like what it looks up up close. It's got a really cool, if that focuses, it's got a really cool like bottle. Um, it's like matte and it's just pretty sleek. And this one is in 03 cream, but it looks like it'd be my skin tight or skin, bleh, skin color, but it's not. It oxidized really fast and it's like, it comes out a lot darker than what it looks like. But I just mix a little bit of this stuff like I told you guys. It makes it have like a beautiful finish so I love this foundation I would I would recommend it I think I wore this foundation for like a month straight um but just try and swatch it if you can because the foundations <clears throat> are a lot darker oh my god I don't have a voice the foundations are darker than what it looks like in the bottle so anyways next one I'm gonna be showing you guys is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. Now I'm gonna tell you if you have oily skin, this one is not for you, but <clears throat> damn, I think I finally got it out of my throat. This one just has like such a smooth, creamy consistency. Um, it's really soft, it applies really easily, and it has a lot of coverage so it's a two-in-one it's a foundation and concealer and i have mine in light beige it the only downfall is it makes me a little oily but blotting throughout the day isn't really an issue for me so if you have like drier skin i would definitely use this one um it says medium to full coverage lightweight oil free i don't know if i necessarily believe or agree with that but i would definitely recommend this next one is an oldie this is the CoverGirl Outlast in 855, which is Soft Honey. And this is the 3-in-1 foundation. Um, when this came out, I was completely obsessed with it. I didn't mix it with anything like any other foundations. And if you have watched my videos, you know that I am like a foundation cocktail queen with this shit because I always mix my foundations to get the perfect shade. But when I first got this, I did not. When I started tanning, I would mix this one into the darker shade, um, the, which is the next shade up, and it would just come out with a flawless finish. This one is, it doesn't say, just says flawless coverage, but I would say it is medium to full coverage, and this was going to work with any skin types. So I would definitely recommend this one 10 out of 10. And the last one I'm going to be showing you guys today is the Wet n Wild Foundation. This is... Six dollars, I believe. Six dollars, and this is the photo focus foundation in buff bisque, whatever that is, however you say that. But this literally, mm, this is amazing. Like, I, I used it today. I used it with what did I use it with? I think I used it with like a Rev One um, foundation because it just gets like a really good shade for me. But this stuff is my holy grail. Like, I've already gone through, I want to say, three bottles. But I would definitely, definitely recommend it. Only downfall is they don't have that many shades. They don't even have any dark shades, which is a bummer. I don't know if they came out with them yet, but when I went to buy them, they didn't have any dark shades, which I just thought was kind of ridiculous. But Wet n Wild doesn't test on animals either, so that's a definite plus. Um, and then this has really good flashback when you're taking 
pictures with flash on. So I don't know if you guys follow Casey Holmes. Um, I follow her, like I'm super into her videos. She used this for her like engagement photos, which is fucking awesome because it's a six dollar foundation. And I mean, she probably has every single foundation in the entire world. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative and you guys learned something from it. Like I said, these work for me. It might be different for you, but these are for the right price. Um, they get the job done. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or any requests or anything, just leave a comment down below and I will sh be sure to make a video about it. Coming up, I'm gonna do a tattoo video because quite a few people have requested it, so it's about time to just do it. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe before you leave and like it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.